Setting up a one-to-one -one or a one-to-many relationship is fairly straightforward here with Drizzle. We've got one author for a given post and we're setting that up using this one operator. If we want to set up a many-to-many -many relationship, there is a little bit more to do. Now, it should be said that the way we're doing things here with Drizzle is at the time of this recording, how it's done. Things are going to change at some point with Drizzle where the API will become a little bit less verbose. We'll be able to do these kinds of things with less code. But as it stands, this is how we do things. The first thing we'll want to do is describe the pivot table that we've got for categories and posts. So if we recall over here in our database, we've got this extra table called categories to posts, which sets up the many to many relationship between categories and posts. So we'll want to start by describing that. So let's start by exporting a constant called categories to posts. And that's going to use the PG table function like we've seen already. And we'll give this its name categories to posts. Let's double check the table name there, categories to post, that looks good. Next thing we'll do is set up our definition here. Let's start with category ID. That's going to be a varchar, we've got that already. And its name in the database is category ID. A couple extra things here to tack on. We're going to expect that it's not null, so let's call into that. And then let's use dot references to say what it actually references. And what we do here is pass in a function where we say that the return value is whatever this is going to reference. In this case, categories.id. So the categories table and the ID on it. All right, our next field here is going to be post ID. And so similar kind of thing here, we're going to say that the name here is post ID. And we're gonna say this is not null. And it's going to reference the post table and the ID field from it. Okay, so our table here is represented, this pivot table that we've got over here in our database, it is now represented in our schema and we can start to make use of it to set up relations. So perhaps the first thing that comes to mind that we could do is come up here to our post relations table and say a post should be related to categories. And what we can do for that then is use this many operator that we have here. And the argument to pass in would be our categories to posts table definition that we've got down here. This isn't quite enough though. So for example, if we went to run this, let's see if we can get our categories here, categories, true. If we go to run this, what we're going to see is an error. So run that, we get an error. And that's because there is a little bit more schema that we've got to define here to set up these relationships. Let's start by defining the other side of it. We'll export a constant called categories relations. That's going to use the relations operator again. We'll pass in categories. That's our initial bit of schema for our categories table. Then we'll get our function, which gives us a destructured operator called many. And then we'll return how these things are defined. And that is simply that posts will be the relationship here and it'll be a many to many relationship. And we'll use our categories to posts table. All right, then finally, we need a little extra bit of schema down here that will be responsible for tying the whole thing together. So we'll export a constant called categories to post relations. That's again going to use the relations operator. We'll pass in categories to posts. Then we'll set up our definition here, which will be using the one operator in this case. And we'll say that category, category is gonna be a relationship to one of category. And we'll set up our references. So fields here, that's going to be this array where we use categories to posts and we'll use the category ID. And references is going to use categories ID. So the category ID from our categories to post table, the pivot table is going to be the field here on category and it's going to reference back into our main categories table and the ID that we have on it. And then since there's another side to this many to many relationship, let's define that. And that's of course posts. So one on posts, then the definition here for how they relate fields is going to be categories to posts dot post ID now. And the reference, as I'm sure you can guess, is going to be over to post.id. And I forgot the S at the end of this. It's references plural. Okay, we should have everything set up now to fulfill this whole many-to-many -many relationship. So let's try running this again. If we run drizzle, there we go. We've got our categories coming through now. Let's just 
get this whole thing printed out by doing JSON stringify all posts null to and see what we get. All right, so there we go. We've got category ID and we've got post ID. So right now as it stands, this info here in categories in this array, is not very useful if we wanna to try to hydrate a UI, for example, because we just have the IDs. What we can do is we can modify our query to say, instead of just categories true, let's say categories, and then we can use that with operator again, category, what the actual category is. All right, let's run this and see what we get now. Okay, so we get our category coming in here as travel in this case that sits underneath this categories array. So ultimately we are able to get the same kind of behavior that we might expect with Prisma over here in Drizzle. There is, I think, quite a bit more ceremony, at least right now, as to how we set up, especially many-to-many -many relations. And that is set to change. Newer versions of Drizzle should make this a lot easier. But for now, this is how we might arrange our schema so that we can use the relational query API to pull in related tables.